Did you hear that, Cora? The music? Yes, but I've never been very fond of the violin. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't expect a Miller's daughter to appreciate a virtuoso like Paganini, but no, I didn't mean the music. I was talking about the clock. Did you hear that little tick up there? It was the sound of your incompetence. Why do you want my daughter gone? What threat could she pose to you? Tick, tick, tick. You see, each clock tick means a soul has left my domain. Do I look like I like to lose anything? I did what you asked. I didn't want to. I. I jeopardized my relationship with her. Yes, because you thought you could get her to do what I wanted, which you couldn't. If it makes you feel any better, <laughs> she's going to regret her decision. Don't threaten her. Poor me. No, I want what I was promised. Ah, really, Carter? I'm surprised you care so much about Regina, especially after what you did to your other daughter. How do you know about Zelina? Oh, I know about everything. Including why you gave her up. All so you could claw your way out of a miserable peasant life. Which <laughs> suggests the perfect punishment. Look at that. A miller's daughter once again. Hurry now, Cora. You have flour to deliver. That's what they do at mills, isn't it? I never paid much attention. It's, it seems like such dull work. No. No, you promised you'd save us. Just... And you promised not to fail. <laughs> <laughs>